due le brisco? Italietta, due brisco e due le brisco. The club has been here now for 50 years and the role has always been to keep our community together, to make sure that we keep up with our traditions, we keep up with our cultures, and we do want our children to remember from where they came from, to remember that their, that their parents and grandparents were actually immigrants when they came here. They had no place to go, they didn't belong to anything. I came over as an immigrant all by myself and uh, at that time there was the a chance to get to meet few people. There were only few families around. Maybe 50 Italians. I come here every once in a while, especially on Sunday like today, and I uh, see a lot of people that I know them, and uh, we have a drink together, and we'll talk for a while. It's like a second home for, for many of us. Um, it's a great place for us to have our functions, our dances, and our our days like this, our chestnut roast, or our fashion show that we have in, in March. And it's a great place for the kids to remember where we started our roots in Kingston. This is our very first place that we kind of marked as, as our own. The thing that started was uh, playing soccer. That was the beginning. And out of that, we joined the association here, clubs that they were all playing soccer. And we just carry on as a group. You go on the not very high mountain and that's where you find the chestnuts and you get your children, all the family goes and pick them up from the trees. Today is our chestnut day, so we gather people here just for fun and game in the afternoon. They play bingo, they play cards, they, they talk. Chestnut is a big thing, especially I think in European countries, because it does come way late in the fall and you know the winter is going to be coming soon, but it is a tradition to eat chestnuts roasting. Like you know, a lot of people think chestnut roasting and an open fire for wind for Christmas. Well, no, for us it starts anywhere in the fall and it goes right on till February. They are very, very good with wine. Very good with. <laughs> it's a unique club. The likes of it do not exist in Toronto, even Montreal, because they were the regional clubs. Uh, Sicilia, Abruzzo, Fiulano, here is Italian club. Any region from Italy, we all are under the same roof. We are Italians, period. <laughs> and we have a Bruno, the chef, in the last 15 years. He's been unbelievable. He's the one who really the, he keeps the club going. Well, that's the people to feed. And uh, there we go. I don't get to see a lot of my mom's or my dad's relatives as much, so it's a nice reminder of, of, uh, of them. It kind of reminds me of, of, of being in their company, so it's a nice, you know, kind of homey feeling when you come here and you hear your language being spoken and you, you know, get to have the great food here and the great company. Good boy. What's up? Let's shop. Yeah. Okay. Good to show. The club started with a bunch of men, young men. Women were not really much involved until the building, I think, of the club at that point. And then they were instrumental in raising, again, fundraising and raising money to, to buy cutlery, buy dishes and buy stuff that was needed to run the club itself, even though the men did the building, you know, and, they, and it was all done by volunteers. They, you know, nobody was paid to be working on this, to be constructing the club. And a lot of companies that were involved with it at that time, they all donated their time and they donated a lot of material to have this made. But again, it was because they wanted a home for themselves, a home, a place to call their home and come to here. It was a lot of hard work in here. And all, all 99% it was done free. So uh, it's some kind of a pride to, this is our home type of a thing. It would be nice to see some more of the, our generation present in this club. I am the youngest, I think, member at 28 years old. I think I'm the youngest member of this club. So it would be nice to see kids my, my age participate more. I like to see the club stay here forever, but I don't think it's going to happen because the young people, young generation, they don't come here. There are a lot of kids in here that they now at this particular time they feel that they are getting interested in it because once the old people get out of the way they feel more free. We just get less, less people all the time because we pass away. 
the majority are over 80. When we originally came, there were a lot of, let's say, maybe 15 soccer teams. They were all different, different nationality. And practically, at that time, everybody had a club. Now, none of them has a club left, except us. I like to see it, as long as I live, that these things stand up. We are actually right in the middle of writing a book of the Italian club. So I think that that would be a big thing for, for young people to have, and even all, us old people to have, so that you remember back. So I can look back and say, oh my goodness, that was my wedding day. <laughs> so this is a second home, a home away from home.